to embrace the greater national good and interests. We are here, fellow Kenyans, to define and aim for greater loyalties and bigger dreams for our country. We are here because we have transcended narrow individual agendas. We have begun the journey to end personality cults. and the impunity that goes with them, to replace them with elevated national goals, values, and agendas. Now who? Ni ukweli tusidanganyane. Fellow Kenyans, allow me therefore to thank you all who are assembled here today as well as those who are following us through the other platforms for being a part of this grand parade, the second Amani National Congress NDC since the formation of our party in 2015. I take great pride in the knowledge that NDC has grown with leaps and bounds. We have come way beyond the founding expectations. We have shaken off our detractors and malign forces that have attempted to slow us down, to divert us from our cause, and to wreck our party. We have gallant men and women, young and elderly, all made of sterner staff than our detractors have imagined. We are majestically marching towards the noble goal of making our country better for the present and future generations. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to singularly thank this NDC for ratifying my presidential candidature, candidature for this year's election. This is the first major step in the direction that we are headed. You have bestowed upon me a great honor and a momentous task. I accept this assignment with a lot of humility and a sense of pride and duty. Whether the road ahead is mud with thorns or stones, heat or thunderstorms, I promise and commit that because of the confidence you have shown in me and because of your commitment to walk with me, we will this time get to the promised land the land of milk and honey. Wakati hu, tusidanganyane. Join me, therefore, on a brief and truthful journey of reflection about our dear country, an audit of our hopes and the impediments that frustrate them. Where is our country? and what can we do about it? First, Kenya is broke. Let me state the obvious. Kenya is broke. To see Danganyane. The great American patriot Abraham Lincoln admonished us to always follow the path of the truth. The fact is, he said, the truth is your truest friend, no matter what the circumstances. So the truth must be told, no matter how uncomfortable it may be to some, to see Danganyane. Kenya's public debt is galloping towards the nine trillion ceiling against a GDP of Kenya shillings 11 trillion. This means that for every 100 shillings of revenue collected, 70 shillings goes towards paying debt. That leaves, that leaves a paltry 30 shillings for public salaries, health services, education, security, 
infrastructure, and all those services that fall under devolved government. Yet we are told all the time by faceless people, Yani Team Danganya Kenya. <laughs> team Danganya Kenya. Not to speak about these things to Kenyans. But we must speak about these things. We must tell Kenyans that their country is at risk of being auctioned by international lenders. Critical national assets have been mortgaged. Indeed, the whole country is now on mortgage. When we ask to be told how the SGR facility, an infrastructure project, not a security project, an infrastructure project, when we ask to be told how the SDR facility has been secured, for example, we are told in affidavits, we are told in affidavits filed by the government in court, not by a stranger, but by the government in court, that it is a state secret a high national security risk.